In this video, I'm gonna make a tutorial about shadows, highlights, and blending images in general. You guys asked me to do it, so here's the video. You know, I don't really enjoy making tutorials because I think I'm not that good of a teacher, but I'll try my best. If you wanna follow me while I do this, there's a link in the description where you can download this Photoshop file for free. In the end of the video, I got a little challenge for you, so make sure to watch it till the end of the video. Let's begin! First thing to do is to find out where the light is hitting from. You can see the bushes behind, on the right side here you can see the light part and on the left side it's a dark part, so the light is coming from the right side. You can also see the shadow, it's very harsh and very black. Now let's add the main object, it's a sandal. Yeah, it's gonna be big sandal actually. You always have to find references in the image to know how the light works, where it hits, where the shadows are and all that good stuff. Well, we did that with the bushes behind. Now first choose the solid color in the options, press OK, then hide the layer double press the color and choose the black on the shadow behind there we go it looks good press ok now show the layer pull it behind the sandal and there we go now what we have to do is stand on the mask layer and press ctrl i to invert the mask now choose the brush tool make flow like five or three so it should be pretty low Right click on the layer and choose the size to be around 1000, it has to be pretty big. Now change the shape of the brush to match the sandal kind of, like this, it should be good. And decrease the hardness to zero, so your brush should look like this. Choose color to be white, because white color on the mask reveals the mask and black color hides it. Now as we saw in the bushes we have to add the shadows on the left side, so start adding the shadows below the sandal. There we go, some more shadows in the middle. Let's make the brush smaller and add some more shadows below. There, right here. There is no formula to this, you have to try and see what works. There we go. Here, looks good. See, the shadow should be much darker, I think. The one we added is uh, pretty light, so we're gonna add exposure. Turn it down to like minus 3 maybe. Stand on the mask and press Ctrl I again to invert the mask. Same thing here. Add the shadows below the object. Add some more shadows, this is more black and more darker shadows. There we go. Some more in the behind and I think it's starting to look pretty good. Now let's add some more shadows to the parts where the sandal actually touches the ground. Some more here. It might not look so good in the beginning, but as you work on it, you'll see the difference. Now let's right click and change the shape of the brush to the normal, because I think the left shadows on the sandal are pretty blurry and as we saw on the bushes, it should be pretty harsh and not blurry at all. Choose black as your color and remove it from the mask. There we go. Now 
Now let's make the brush bigger and remove some more on the left side. I'm doing this with a black brush. Now let's add the highlights, exposure on the top of the shoe layer, make it like plus 5 and clip it to the object, right here. Again, invert the mask with Ctrl I and start painting on the right side. This part, for example, is not gonna get any highlights because light is coming from the right side and this part is blocking it. Also, this part, for example, is probably gonna be pretty dark because this part is blocking that. Also, this part is gonna be pretty dark because sandal and every shoe has this wavy shape and light is gonna be blocked there. Make the brush a bit smaller, zoom in and start adding the highlights. Add some more. You know, you always have to try to make it work somehow. Sometimes it may not look good, but as long as you do not stop trying, eventually it's gonna look pretty good. Trust me. Okay, let's add highlights here. Let's remove some. This part should be pretty shiny. Some highlights here. This part should be pretty shiny too. Now let's add highlights here. And here. Now let's add the shadows actually. Exposure again, clip it to the main object, make it like minus 3 point something, 3.3 maybe. Control I to invert, decrease the flow again, it should be pretty low. You can also decrease the opacity, you can try both. Here as I showed you before, these parts are not getting any light probably. There we go, this part should be pretty dark also. Maybe the left side of this. Yep. Also this part should be pretty dark there. Right here, behind this. Now the landscape has this yellow and red tones, so I think we have to add these colors on the sandal. For this, choose color balance, again clip it to the shoe layer, and move the slider to the yellow slightly. Not too much, maybe minus 10. Also make it a bit red, so move the red slider to the red, plus 10, 12, something like that. Now I think the colors match better here. Now let's add some more stuff, for example pandas, because you know I love pandas. Put them here. Now I'm gonna do everything the same on the pandas. Here add the color balance, shadows, 
same direction, nothing special here. Shadows on the left side of the pandas. Here I added the highlights with exposure. Now I want to add this dust in the foreground. For this choose solid color and choose kind of white to yellow tone. This kind of creamy color. Invert the mask and with very low flow and opacity add some of it in the foreground. There it is. I think it looks good. If you want to make your edit 10 times better, group everything together, duplicate, right click on the group and choose merge group. Now right click on the merged images and make it a smart object. Now go to the filter, camera roll filters and here is where the magic happens. Increase the texture a lot, probably like 50, 40, something like that. I also increase clarity. Just play with the slides, it's gonna look a lot better, trust me. Now this is the final result. I think it looks good and I think I did not fail making the tutorial, I don't know, you guys be the judge of that. Now about the challenge I had for you guys, if you downloaded the file, you probably saw that I removed the pandas, because I want you to add something of your own, go crazy, add whatever you want, change whatever you want, make something pretty crazy. When you finish it, add it on your Instagram story, on your Instagram post, whatever you want, just use hashtag Gugas Nebula. Now you can also tag me on Instagram, it's at Gugas underscore Nebula. I'm really curious what you guys gonna make, so I don't know, surprise me. In the end, I hope you liked the tutorial and I hope I'll see you in the next videos. Bye.